You know, every week on Coach Prime's Playbook, we get somebody else because everybody's making plays, but this guy has been making plays all year. Trevor Woods, thank you for joining us today. And of course, what stands out, well, two of them, but TCU first interception of the year, and then of course, the one to seal the deal against CSU. Which one felt better? Uh, the TCU one, definitely. Started out the season, had all my family there, you know, I'm from Texas, so. I mean, it's a four-hour drive, but I had a lot of people there. So, I mean, that was nice to get in front of Tell the Tell the fans what we just talked about off-air. The off-air conversations are much better than the on-air conversations. <laughs> when you didn't even know what we were talking about when I came up to say I'm bringing my Louie. I, I know Louie. What Rugged. did you think I Louis was? I know, Louis. I know I know. I just don't wear it. You know, so you know, you know Samsonite. Up. You know Samsonite. And you, so what, when did you get it? Right after the meeting, my friends sent me the video. They were all like, do you, do you uh... Did you see the did you see the meeting? I was like, I was there. What are y'all talking about? Did I see the meeting? Y'all see me in the video. And Do you, you have any Louis now? No, nah, I don't. He I is kind of hoping I was like, Louis. Ah. He's the Louis that stayed. Yeah, well, he's the Louis that stayed. He's also, I think maybe the only Louis that got a direct shout out from Snoop Dogg in a video. In a video uh, well, you're not suitable for work if you're gonna watch the video. It's a great video though. But what was your reaction when Snoop is just shouting you out? That was so cool. The dog gave you love? Yeah, after that pick that. at TCU. Uh, yeah, yeah it's on his that. Instagram. I talked to him after that good. game, too. My, my sister, she's like biggest Snoop. She loves oh, Snoop wow. Dogg. So immediately after, she was like, Snoop Dogg was talking about you. Snoop Dogg was talking about you. <laughs> so she, so I, I didn't even see it until we got on the bus I after. But uh, she was so hyped about it. Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, no, I told all my classmates, I was like, ah, too bad I had to say my interesting fact to introduce myself to the class last week. I would have told them. I had Snoop Dogg narrating me. Tell me, how's it, how's it for you to play and for you to stay here? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's, I've gotten to see the change of not just the team, but the, the campus and the city. So, I mean, it, it's, that, I told her earlier, I, that's, that's what's been coolest to me to see. You. I, part of the reason I came here is because I knew that they had fans that came to the games. And, and I mean, despite the bad history, I, I was hoping for a turnaround. But, uh, you know, when I saw, like, this, this is becoming what I expected it to be, so. What does it mean to you to be part of that turnaround? I mean, it's awesome. You know, uh, you know hopefully, you know, when I'm, when I'm watching games, when I'm older, I can tell my, tell my kids, I'll, I'll be like, hey. This, That's I was your there. dad. I started that. That's your dad. Yeah, I started that. Your dad was a right banger. <laughs> your, your dad used to put it down. Yeah. Uh, last week, we had a little situation. Like our special teams coach's name is Trevor. Okay. And you know, we have another Trevor. Yeah. So the special team coach was like 10 yards on the field when we were doing seven on seven a team. So I yelled, Trevor, get off the field. And he ran off the field. I said, dude, come on, man. What is, what is wrong with you, man? Well, they just took a guy off the field, too, right before. For, well, he was, I didn't even know what they got taken first off all, you don't so do like, you don't do stupid stuff that I'm going to yell at you and say, get off the field. You never do that. You're mo one of the most disciplined young men on this team. But I yelled, Trevor, get off the field, and he ran off the field. He's just not, always listening. I'm like, not you. Get your butt back on the field. <laughs> cool. At least you know he always takes direction. Uh, uh, definitely. All he right. takes it well. So this is kind of a, a left turn here, but there's a big debate going on amongst Broncos fans. There are two Broncos players where fans are completely divided about who you look like. So we need to decide who is Trevor Wood's doppelganger. Can we pull this up? People can't oh, decide wow. if it's John Lynch or if it's Jay Cutler. I don't see John Lynch. I hit the, the one I see all the time is the John Lynch. I, I don't think see that's John just, Lynch. John, oh, we're both white safeties and that might be number it. in the 40s. Yes. You know, I, I don't see John Lynch. But I'll tell you guy, what, he's a bruiser, though. Oh, You're a bruiser out God. there. That's yes, not a bad yes. guy to be compared to, I, right? I get a text probably every other week from John Lynch. Do you? But he always comment on the safeties. Really? Like when they bring it. Yes, most definitely. He's a great guy and it was a great player. Have, have you asked him if he thinks he looks like Trevor? Is this no, what he looks I like? I get the comparison all the time. All the time. And all of my, all my Instagram comments is, young John Lynch. <laughs> young yeah. Lynch. Yeah. Well, hopefully the career follows in suit as well. It's been such a treat. Trevor, can't wait to see what you do against USC. Thank mm -hmm. you for taking the time today. We got